play. Yeah. No matter what. All right, there we go. Oh, there you go. I can hear you now. Yeah, That's I can awesome. hear you too. That's so sick. All right, we are in winners' quarters. All we right. got JDV versus Game Biggie one. Mouth. Game one. And uh, yeah, I mean, this is a campy matchup. We got yeah. two characters that are just gonna throw stuff. You know, I could have bet a hundred dollars that JDV was just gonna go to the left side of the stage, place down his hydrant, and start charging through. Yeah, I mean, it's just it's just really hard to get stuff started. I mean, you don't really want to go off stage with yeah. Rob at that percent, and the hydrant's just gonna block you anyways. So like, it's just a matter of like JDV getting Galac Gal what is it called? I don't know. Galaga. Galaga yeah. and throwing it at Biggie while he throws yeah. lasers. That's basically the match until we get. Damn, that was safe on parry. That's how stupid Rob Nair is. It was safe on parry to a frame four out of shield. Is is, is Pac-Man Nair frame it's four? It's very fast. It is. I, I believe it is frame four. It might even. I don't know if it's frame three. That that might be pushing, but I know it's like, it's up there. Yeah. Okay. That interesting. A interesting call. extension. Yeah, he's extended it with. F Smash, holy! Weak okay. hit of F Smash. I think Biggie's Rob still's got it. <laughs> oh, I, well, of course. Yeah, this is kind of a. It's got two sides of the spectrum. We got Oregon, Washington, and then we have seasoned veteran versus relatively new up and comer. Really, uh, JDB really kind of made himself known during the Wi-Fi scene. Yeah. Uh, but he has proven himself to be just as deadly, if not more so, offline. I think I think you can call him a season veteran oh. too. I mean, with all the hours you put in online, oh, yeah. it's gonna translate to stuff in yeah. actual tournaments. So shout it out it to the flight. It is, Warriors. in fact, Earth and Terra on commentary. <laughs> <laughs> you got it right, Nier. You got <laughs> yeah. it right. So again, it's it's gonna, it's gonna be a really slow, grindy match, and Biggie just yeah. has to slowly get damage. I mean, we it's been a minute and thirty seconds. No stocks taken. No barely, stocks barely over a hundred percent. And you think about the interactions too, like uh, Pac-Man. Every time he throws Galaga, that's 20, 30 percent. No. Nope, Every yeah. time Biggie throws his gyro and laser, it's 20, 30 percent. I mean, yeah. that's all this match is, and you just have to play this really slow, grindy match, and try to not give JDV opportunities yeah. to charge it. Just yeah, but this is where JDV shines. He he is very good at playing patient and playing for the clock. That's the difference between him and Midi, is that mm, uh, interesting. I haven't I haven't played Midi before, um, but from what I've heard from other people and from playing JDV. Uh, Midi is more of a scrapper, and she has a lot more like setups. JDB is a lot more patient and more flowchart oriented. Yeah, I mean, he, look, he's just super content with yeah. charging this uh, this bonus fruit. I mean, it's it's weird because like you're never really gonna get this big opening on Rob because he also has tools to box you out. So no, he's yeah. really content with like going for tricky things like the charge apple, going at the angle. <sighs> it's 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 a grindy matchup. It's been almost yeah. three minutes. We haven't seen a single stock, so we have a really high likelihood of getting the timeout. Yeah. And Biggie with the lead, so the JDV has to, you know, push a little bit harder to try to find a kill. Interesting. Ooh, okay, we finally got a Yeah, first stock first stock of the of the set. Now we gotta see how JDV ad adapts to fight being behind. Now you have to you push on the brakes because there's a high chance that Biggie can stall out the game. Yeah. Uh we'll see. I feel like Pac-Man has uh, outside of like Bell. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like he has a hard time killing sometimes. Yeah, no, I, I, I might be wrong in saying that, but, like, I feel like if he doesn't get that initial, like, bell at, like, 90 or 100 or so, or maybe an edge guard, it's like he just, uh, your opponent lives, like, pretty long, except if you get hit by key like that. Yeah. I mean, look at look at how Biggie was surviving earlier. He went high. He said, I don't really care about my yeah. disadvantage. I don't really care about your ledge trap. And the thing is, is JDV called him out. He got an yeah. up air, but it didn't kill at 160. Yeah. <laughs> now, that's the thing. It's like... Pac-Man doesn't have like the greatest like sharking tools for catching people in the air. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, really relying on Bell yeah. to get all your kills, and even even then, at like such a high percent, if you don't find it early, you're gonna slowly get outpaced. I mean, look at the attrition. Biggie yeah. has a 60% lead, three minutes on the clock. Yeah, I was gonna say like it's been even most of the time, but Biggie is slowly kind of edging him out a little bit. Yeah, and it's, uh, it's it's not even Biggie's job at this point to like kill him, right? He's no, he's, he's, he's just he's playing the game. Like, uh, that's all he has to do. He's not fishing for anything. He's just kind of being content with getting damage, putting yeah. JDB in kind of uncomfy situations. Yeah. Uh, mean, and then, these nares, getting, yeah. getting, getting what he can. I mean, There's getting the, the down air. Yeah. If, if you're Biggie, do you go for Classic. a timeout here? Uh, I don't know. Two minutes, still a reasonable amount of time, especially if JDB can get the stock. Here we go. Um, Going in the air. I mean, Bell doesn't reach up there. At least he gets to pick it up. The game is it's kind of gotten a little faster. Uh, yep, there it is. Go. There you go. Found a misspaced laser. Back That's to even. The lead disappeared. 
Okay, uh, the, the the thing that these two characters share in common is they're only really gonna get punished if they do their setups poorly. If Biggie laser is uncomfortably safe, like close. Yeah. Or gyros like like that, then uh, he's the one gonna be taking the punish. And if G JDV isn't like super careful with his bonus bonus fruits, or he uh, uses his hydrant poorly like that, then right. uh, that's kind of where uh, these to get players some are gonna get setup going. yeah these damages or or any setup. Uh, uh, one thing that's super messed up about both these characters is that they're both like zoners, but they have their boxing game is so good up close. It's like you touch Pac Man Shield, you're, you're getting nared or forward aired. And it's like Rob, it's like down, down tilt. tilt. Nair, yeah. Fair, fair's ginormous. Even Gyro as a boxing game oh, is yeah. very, very scary. Uh, yeah, if you have Gyro in hand, like you have to respect that because like throwing out a shield is like, I forget what frame it is, but it is r super, super fast. Okay, we're at a minute. Ooh. Now, the Biggie's the one behind. He has, has to play a little faster. Oh, Ooh, my God. The setup. That, that was very Zachary-esque. Usually, the, the, the crazy thing is, is usually when Biggie throws the gyro like that, he's looking for the reverse hit of gyro to right. set him into the stage and up smashes. Yeah. But it's really, really crazy that he went for uh, forward smash because I don't know exactly how he popped out, but I'm really surprised that connected. Because the one, the reason why you do up smash is because right. sometimes they just pop straight yeah, up. Yeah, they go up at, at the angle. So good on Biggie for being super patient. I mean, yeah, I'm surprised too because like Pac-Man's like floaty, mm -hmm. so like he's more than likely to just kind of be in that up smash range. He I'm might, sure he both might have angled it too. The, uh, the smash maybe. I feel like both moves would have worked to be honest. Mm -hmm. So that's just character knowledge on Biggie's part. Yeah, that's really good. Really good execution. Yeah. Not missing the kill confirm. Yeah. Biggie playing good today. Biggie, in fact, playing good. Except mm -hmm. for that, like, flub grab. He got the roll read, but yeah. just the execution. But other than that, he was solidly, I wouldn't say in control, but keeping up the pace. Because this is definitely one of those matchups where you need to be right in the head. And if you're really impatient, you just blow up for 15. No, yeah. And JDV, too. I mean, it, w it wasn't it wasn't, it wasn't, wasn't a stomp by any means. No. JDV kept up. Very, very solid. A very move. close game. Very close game. I think, um, I think JDV going into this game needs to think about more of his setups and how to get around these projectiles while he's charging these setups. Yeah. And finding those openings for Bell because he only got one. And that's simply not enough to close it out, I guess. Yeah. All right. Going to FD, a lot smaller stage. So potentially this could be a little bit faster than the previous game. It really accentuates both these characters. Uh, like their strengths. Look, like the yeah. flat stage is going to help Rob Laser. Yeah. Oh, so big damage. Really uh, I, I used to think that Rob, like, was really, really good on FD because Gyro literally controls, like, if you have Gyro out, like, that part of the stage is yours. And tip it more than more often than not, it's like a third of the stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. But I've heard that, uh, at least Dom has told me, and I think Biggie has told me, too, that FD is not the greatest stage for Rob. Interesting. But uh, I think in this matchup, it's, it's an exception because I think both these characters kind of benefit from the same stuff. Um, for sure, for sure. And I don't think it'll be that bad because, like, I think one of the reasons why uh, they think FD is bad stage for Rob is landing. But, like, Pac-Man doesn't really have any good sharking tools, like I said earlier. So he's yeah. going to be able to land a lot better. He's never really going to kill with, yeah. with any of the sharking tools. He always has to call out a back air to yeah. kill off of whenever Biggie is above. Yeah. Doing a really good job of keeping this lead. Ooh, oh, my God. Catches roll the read. Roll read. All right. This is where JDV usually struggles. Gyro. Oh, my God. No what? way. Where did that go? Did you see that? The gyro, like, it disappeared. <laughs> he threw it at light <laughs> speed. <laughs> no, JDB just went right through it. I don't know what happened. But back to even. Uh, both players just kind of sitting pretty on either side of the I, stage. I love seeing the interaction whenever the gyro bounces off the hydrant. Yeah. And it just goes sent flying at mock speed. Oh, my God. JDB, Fuck. Get oh, little, so get aggressive. Little, yeah, Ooh. getting a little, uh, getting a little ballsy there. I think that's good because you need to kind of discourage yeah. Biggie from going up there. Yeah, it's also just a good, oh like, God. it's good oh to mix God. up the ah, tempo. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, that was so scary. <laughs> that was the most interactions I've ever seen between the two characters. Like, usually they just hit each yeah. other away. but And then they just run. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, if it wasn't for Rob Nair, the character would not be as crazy as he is. But because that move alone is the reason why Rob doesn't get juggled for years like Yoshi or someone. Yeah. All right, let's see, uh, let's see how JDB responds. He has a lead. Um, oh, uh, anything? Uh, he, Goes he's alive. Uh, Pac-Man, arguably the best recovery in the game, I, I'd say. I, I, I don't think so. I think really? Rob is better. Who's? Rob. Rob? Because Pac-Man Pac can't go in the air. Yeah. 
One of the one of the one of the harder things that JDB has to deal with in playing this matchup is Biggie actually never has to commit to the ledge because he can go to the stratosphere. No, oh, yeah. So you can never like preemptively set up for that when he's sent off stage. So like big. I mean, what just happened there? Uh, that uh, was uh, so weird. I think every single projectile clanked at once. <laughs> <is> yeah. <laughs> and uh, right. the thing I was saying earlier is he can just go in the air like this, and yeah. see, see how JDB backs up because if he commits to the ledge trap, uh, oh, anything? Oh, oh. <laughs> that, that character good. knowledge. That was a good pickup. You know, it was kind of an awkward situation, and most people probably wouldn't know how to oh. like convert off of that. Oh my god, nothing. Okay, I, I'm getting excited over like the Dude. smallest hits. Give Dude. me Biggie. Oh. When Biggie starts moving, it's it's crazy because you never Ooh. know what can happen. Oh, it's taking the. Tr I don't know what's happening. Oh, he oh, tried. Biggie, to yeah, he tried to take the trampoline. Yeah, that's really smart. You got to go for desperate the desperate F smash there. Uh, he still got a lead though. I don't know why you're clasping at straws. Like, you, all you have to do is play your game. Like. This could be a timeout. There's still three minutes, and yeah. I think I think uh, arguably a little bit faster than the yeah. last game. Yeah, because the I first stock was like them feeling each other. Yeah, out. Ah! that was crazy. I'm sorry. That was crazy. I I saw death. <gasps> oh, I thought that, that was a tomahawk. That was yeah. a tomahawk. <laughs> boop, okay. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> that was <laughs> really funny. <laughs> <laughs> This game is so goofy, man. It's like we have edgy top tiers, and then we have a fucking Japanese 19. robot from the eight, like 80s and 90s. And then we got Pac-Man from the Pac 1960s or whatever, wherever he's from. Yeah, I don't okay, know. Okay, fine. Know. Do you know stuff with it? Oh, Ooh. you do know stuff with it. Not enough stuff with it, Barely honestly. Barely missing. This is a dead... Ah! Is okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I need to stop doing this. Anytime I see, like, crazy movement yeah. from either of these characters when they're approaching each other is very interesting. Yeah, see what I mean? Like, what what can JDB do here other than, like, get a bell, maybe? Yeah. You need a bell, you need a key. Yeah. And Biggie, just every single time, one of the things that Biggie's been doing really well... Ooh, there's the apple, Ooh, though. great apple. But uh, I was saying earlier, but unless JDB goes off stage, which is something you probably don't want to do because of the ledge trap... But every single time JD's been charging fruit, he's been answering it with a projectile, so he doesn't get the bell for free, yeah. especially at, like those higher percents. You know, I'm, I'm glad I'm s I'm seeing the Biggie Rob again. I'm glad he's like I don't know if he's enjoying the game right now. <laughs> I don't know if I'd enjoy this, but uh, I think Biggie just uh, dislikes how how interesting Rob is because he's really loaded, so he doesn't yeah. find it. Uh, Ooh, okay. Ooh, strong laser we was enough those. to beat Hydrant that's, falling down. That's crazy. That is the biggest pick-me-up snipe I've ever seen. <laughs> like, we've seen full charge laser hit the hydrant on the ground. It no, just doesn't yeah. do anything. So that, was, that was really weird. I've never seen that. Yeah, if I'm JDV, I'm a little frustrated that I would die to something like that. Yeah. There's a ledge trap. We go high. JDV has had a lead this entire game. Yeah, that's one minute. Same scenario as last yeah. time. JDV had the lead going into last But off. we know what Rob can do. Yeah. Uh, everyone, everyone knows at this point. I mean, Rob is the most popular, successful player in competitive Smash. Player, I, character? Character, I mean, yeah. <laughs> like, it's like there is, what was the statistic? It's a lot. Like the second most popular, I think it was Roy. It's, it's definitely Roy. It's like, it's like Ro Rob, Wolf, I mean Rob, Roy, Wolf, Rob, Wolf, something like that. Yeah. I mean, these characters are just like really good boxers, honestly. Yeah. It's <laughs> but the amount. <laughs> Sorry, but the gyro. What was crazy is that the gap between Rob, the amount of Rob and Roy players was bigger than the gap between the second most played character and the 30th most played character. Yeah. There was over a hundred more Rob players than there are Roy players. That which is, is crazy. That is pretty ridiculous. It's just, Rob is just a really versatile character. Yeah. He's not super complicated. And he's so easy. He's and he's easy. And he's broken. Yeah. Oh, we got 30 <gasps> seconds. What a tall... <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is Zone going things, on? I guess. 30 seconds. Where did the hydrant go? What the... It didn't even move. Dude, it what just is going on? This is a this is a wacky set. All right, well. <gasps> uh -huh. Wow. There's Di? Uh, he died at seventy. That sucks. He died straight into the moon. FT has a low. I'm pretty sure FT has a low ceiling. I, I, it does. It definitely does. That was crazy. It, it definitely does. That it sucks. Does. You hate. I mean, if you're JDV, you hate to see. If you're Biggie, we we take those every damn day. Every damn day, but that sucks. <laughs> that I think sucks. I saw Biggie just like do a nod, like the, oh, there's no way that. Can. <laughs> oh my gosh. If I'm JDV, that's 